uh, I want to ask you the same question your prophet was for 40 years doing what because he became a prophet after the age of 40 so 40 years he was living like an animal and actually the Quran says that Muhammad for 40 years of his life he did not know even what faith mean which means he was living like a cow but according to your Quran Jesus was a prophet of God even when he was a child even when he was a child he was teaching wisdom let me show you we go to Yusuf Ali and we read the following when they came to Mary you know and in here uh, uh, there's a mistake in the, the story because Muhammad he misunderstood the name of Mary the sister of Aaron the sister of Moses and Aaron with Mary the mother of Jesus this is how liar he is anyway and here you will see that when they came to Mary to talk to her she pointed her finger to the cradle to the child in the cradle but here we go surprisingly Mr. Abdul your God saying that Jesus spoke in the cradle speaking wisdom in an immature way he is in a mature a mature which mean he is an, a, a, you know a, a, from the first second of his birth he is a prophet and messenger of God in your Quran but in the same time in your stories about your prophet your prophet he was for 40 years nothing because he became a prophet after the age of 40 after the age of 40 your prophet he became a messenger of Allah so for 40 years he was what if we go to the Quran we will see that for 40 years Muhammad was an infidel let us read chapter 42 verse number 52 at my translation read with me let us, let us teach the Abdul how to behave read Abdul please chapter 42 verse number 52 and thus have we uh, by our command sent inspiration to thee to thee who Muhammad which he knew nothing before nothing before nothing totally about revelation and he knew nothing about faith so your prophet he did not he did not know what faith mean and what revelation mean so he was a pagan and that proved a lie when Muslim they say that Muhammad he was following the steps of Abraham before because if he because if he follow the steps of Abraham it's mean he knew he have faith for he believe in the God of Abraham but in here it says you do not know even what faith mean and you do not know what revelation mean which mean he never ever have any revelation about any prophet because if Abraham says God is one and let us worship this God this is a revelation from God he's not speaking for his own but, but the Quran saying Muhammad he have no revelation he had never heard of it and he have no faith he was a communist maybe so we have to go by the Quran so for 40 years your prophet was living like a cow in this earth doing nothing but having sex and eating and doing poo, -poo. but in your Quran Jesus spoke in the cradle as a wise the wisdom and the word of God and that actually prove who is Jesus because the one who speak in the cradle it's mean he never been taught because here we go when the angel came to him to teach him when he was in his mother womb that proved the story of the Christian that Jesus when he said before Abraham I am which mean he was exist before his birth the birth is just a new stage of Jesus coming to us in a form and a person of a man but Christ the Word of God is always exist this is why Jesus I said I am the Alpha I am the Omega so in here we answer those Muslims the dummy who tried to downgrade Jesus because he have the body of a man but in the same time this the, 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 the hypocrite they forgot that their Quran saying that Jesus is holy as we showed you in 19, 19 chapter 19 verse 19 their Quran saying that Jesus is perfect because even he can uh, 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 create from the mother bird the Quran is saying is the one who create the same as the one who create not which means Allah he put a standard for God that the, the one who is God is the one you should worship and the one who you should worship is the one who create and that is Jesus because the Quran is saying that he is a creator in the same time 
Muslims they try to downgrade Jesus for having a body of a man but they forgot that the one who brought the most holy thing to unto them supposedly is the Spirit of Allah and we showed you how the Spirit of Allah appeared to Mary as a perfect man and we, if we ask the Muslims the Spirit of Allah who appeared to Mary as a perfect man he have a penis does that mean he is not holy no more is that to change his nature that spirit they will say no and this is the spirit of Allah remember which means it's Allah because Allah and his spirit should be one unless this is theirs to Allah so Allah's spirit having a penis is not a problem for the Muslims but Jesus having a look of a man it's a problem in the same time their God Allah is saying if I want to have a son I have to have a fi I find a girlfriend and if I want a girlfriend I'm going to have sex with my uh, 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 with the angels and the huri uh, you know I don't know uh, I, I know the huris they have vagina but I don't know how the angels Allah is going to have sex with them is the angels of Allah males or females it's just a question because I, I'm trying to find out how Allah is going to have sex because the example is really stupid showing me the stupidity of Muslims and the same time the Muslims believe that Allah is a physical being he have a leg he have a hand he have a face if you are saying to me that Allah is assless, well, let me, may Allah ask you, this is not my problem. Do you have a proof that Allah is not assless, like he don't have an ass? You don't. Do you have a proof that Allah don't have a penis? You don't. You cannot even talk about it because you do not know. You cannot deny it and you cannot accept it because simply you go only by what is written. And what is written? Allah have hands, Allah have face. As long as you have a face, it means he have a back. As long as he have a hand, it means he have a... Uh, 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 you know the same look as anybody uh, he's a creature you know simply when Jesus came you know when God came to us in the look of Jesus that did not downgrade God because God the way he is is not like a man our God is not a man but we see that your God in here is just a man and actually before we finish we need to remember a hadith very important one in Sahih al-Bukhari it says the following in Sahih al-Bukhari book number 55 hadith number 649 Muhammad saying that the false messiah his, he have a bad eye a damaged eye uh, and that is the right eye as you see with me but your God Allah so this is what this is a person who will come uh, as a false messiah the antichrist but look Muhammad saying Allah is not one eyed what, what does that mean it means Allah have full two eyes, the same as the real Messiah. And here actually you will see Muhammad exposing Islam again. Because the topic is the Dajjal, the false Messiah. So why he is comparing the false Messiah with Allah? If the false Messiah will look like a man, because sim simply he is going to take, he will claim to be the Messiah. Therefore he must be, you know, coming as a man. But look what Muhammad is saying. The only difference between Allah and the false messiah is one eye which mean it's mean the rest of it is the same it's mean he have a penis he have an ass he have knee he have legs he have face he have nose he have mouth it's exactly the same as a man because the false messiah he will come in the look of a man trying to fool us supposedly according to the story of Islam that he is the real messiah but what we see from Muhammad in here that there is only one difference between them it is just the right eye the right eye Allah is not one eye Allah have two eyes the same as any man the false messiah this is how you di di differentiate between them according to Islam so here we go you know again your prophet saying that Allah he look the same as the messiah actually I believe that the whole idea of Islam to hijack, to hijack the name of the Messiah and to replace the name of the Messiah by the false God of Islam which is Allah and this story in here prove it because here we go Muhammad replacing the two person to compare with which supposedly to be the real Messiah and the false Messiah between Allah and the false Messiah and the fact I believe strongly that your God Allah is presenting as an idea not a person because he doesn't exist presenting an antichrist idea i hope you guys you enjoyed this video christ is lord and don't forget to get my book to, to learn more about islam it's called the deception of allah you can get it from amazon.com and you can send it as a gift for somebody you know or somebody you love so nobody can deceive them about islam christ is lord islam is false and allah maybe have more more than one penis as we showed you maybe
Maybe he don't have any. Maybe. Maybe he is uh, maybe. 